Hi Cancer, this is your monthly October tarot reading. I do multiple spreads per reading. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this month. We have the Seven of Pentacles, then we have the Nine of Wands, we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire sign, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, or you could be dealing with an Earth sign, because we've got lots of Pentacles here. Pentacles are an Earth sign for the most part. So yeah, you do have somebody coming towards you. The Knight of Wands is either a fire sign, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, or this person is very passionate, very fiery, and uh, they're ready to take action, right? And uh, the first card on the left is the Seven of Pentacles. So perhaps this is you, Cancer. You are either waiting for this particular person to finally make up their mind or you're waiting for this person because they've been away, because they've been at a distance from you, or you're just waiting, period. You're waiting for somebody uh, to come into your life and, uh, you know, so you could ride into the sunset together. <laughs> and here this person comes, the Knight of Wands, and they have really good, uh, solid intentions. Um, the Knight of Wands every once in a while comes through as somebody who is wishy-washy, a playboy, playgirl kind of a character. But um, I really don't think that's the case here. I think this is just all about passion. This person will most likely be very passionate about you. And uh, we have the Ace of Pentacles. This is a golden opportunity for you. If you are to get together with this person, it could literally change your life, make it better. If you take a closer look at the Ace of Pentacles, you'll see this little pathway in the right bottom corner. This is it. This is the pathway to a better life, right? And we have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Yet another Pentacles card, right? So this is the potential here. A very stable and um, mature kind of a relationship. Some people call the Ten of Pentacles the marriage card. So marriage or a committed relationship could be definitely on the horizon for you with this person. And uh, just to uh, underline it one more time, we do have lots of Pentacles here. It could be an Earth sign, but in the essence it's all about something very grounded and very serious. You've been waiting for something very grounded and serious with the Seven of Pentacles and this person will be able to provide it to you. Alright, so this looks really good. Cancer, a relationship or a committed relationship such as marriage could be definitely on the horizon for you. Cancer, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in the description below. In the extended, I'll do two or three more spreads, depending on how the situation unfolds. We'll take a look at what to expect between you and this person, and we'll get you an advice. I do extensions for new love only, because that's what people are interested in the most. Cancer, if you are already in a relationship or if you are married, this spread is for you. We've got the King of Pentacles, we have the Devil, we have the Queen of Cups, and we have the Fool. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So the Queen of Cups in the spread is most likely you, Cancer, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And you're most likely dealing with this King of Pentacles, an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, also, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And this spread can go in two different directions. So, um, the Devil card is either a Capricorn you're dealing with, but most likely, if we want to stay general, the Devil card could play out in two different ways. Hence, two different directions for this spread. So, if you've been uh, really, really suffering with this person, with this boyfriend, girlfriend, or husband or wife, if it has been a very toxic situation, a very codependent, like I said, if you've been suffering, suffocating, if uh, they've been treating you really badly, then I think you're going to reach your breaking point and uh, you're leaving this person with the full card. The full card, in this case, you're setting yourself free and you are out of there. You're done. Another way you can interpret this spread, if uh, you're just starting this relationship, then you'll realize that uh, the two of you are meant to be together with the Devil card. The Devil in this case is a positive card. You'll realize that you feel this 
unnatural pull towards this person like you're chained together and uh, you will basically give in <laughs> I guess and uh, you will agree to take a leap of faith with this person together so yeah take it as resonates you can always leave me a comment let me know how this plays out but uh, yeah this is either you are you're leaving the situation if it's been too much for you or you're starting something with this person if this is a new connection all right so but yeah let me know in the comments let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you cancer this month it could be somebody from a couple of months ago a year ago or five years ago we don't know we have strength we have the knight of pentacles clarified by the seven of pentacles we have the empress and the nine of swords on the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with a leo or an earth sign taurus virgo or capricorn so somebody is going to give you anxiety this month when they come back around and make you an offer to get back together <laughs> that's the nine of swords on the bottom of the deck this is you you have your doubts you have your fears you just don't know should you give them a, another shot should you give them a second chance or not so we've got strength here on the left the first card on the left this is either a leo you're dealing with or this person is gonna try to sort of push this reconciliation through with the strength card possibly that's exactly what's giving you an anxiety because this person is just using too much force <laughs> um, I know it's not funny um, then we have the Knight of uh, Pentacles clarified by the Seven of Pentacles so the Knight of Pentacles is either an Earth sign Taurus Virgo or Capricorn you're dealing with but um, to me personally the Knight of Pentacles represents an offer that somebody really really thought through they took their time before they approached you they um, perhaps they came up with some kind of a plan like with bullet points and uh, they're gonna make you an offer and then they're gonna wait with the seven of Pentacles for you to get back to them right and then we also have the Empress here the Empress is a very uh, positive card it's one of the best cards in the deck it's the mother of the tarot deck it is here to protect this relationship or at least at least that's the way I always look at the Empress card the Empress could be abundance in its purest form or that's the way this person sees you as their empress male or female absolutely doesn't matter that means that they're ready to take care of you right because you're their empress they could if you could they could be seeing you as the mother of uh, your future children together or that's the way you see them so um yeah you will need some time to think about it but the cards suggest that uh, this person is uh, business this person is serious this time around and they're ready to uh, get into a serious committed relationship with you but it'll be up to you it'll be up to you cancer sleep on it and let them know let's talk about your work your business and your finances cancer this month we've got the six of wands we have the queen of pentacles and the three of cups you could be dealing with an earth sign towards Virgo or Capricorn so this queen of pentacles is either an earth sign towards Virgo or Capricorn you're dealing with or this person is good with their finances it could be your business partner somebody you work with or somebody at um, at the recruiting recruiting department <laughs> at a company you're applying for if you are applying for a new job or it could be a, you Queen of Pentacles right you could be assuming the energy of the Queen of Pentacles somebody who is uh, uh, good with their finances or perhaps you're starting to pay more attention to your finances this month thus assuming the energy of this Queen of Pentacles but uh, the main idea here is that we have the Six of Wands and the Three of Cups so the Six of Wands is a card of a victory this is a card of uh, personal success a card of inspiration right and then we have the Three of Cups the Three of Cups in this case is either you're celebrating or you're just happy if you're starting a new job they will probably throw you a welcome party or something along those lines you the, the idea of the Three of Cups is that you'll have a reason to celebrate this month whether you're starting something new or you just got uh, a promotion with the 601s or you found a new way to invest your money or to uh, you found a new 
business partner if you run your own business. So overall this is a very positive spread. Like I said, you will have a reason to celebrate this month. Let's talk about an advice or a word of wisdom for you, Cancer, for the whole month of October. We have the Page of Swords, we have the King of Swords, we have the Eight of Wands, we have the Sun, and uh, we have the Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So it took me a couple of minutes, or even longer, because uh, this spread is supposed to be from your perspective, right? This is what you need to do, or what you need to be advised about. So we've got this King of Swords, um, most likely an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, and we have the uh, Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So perhaps you've been waiting to hear from this person, right, with the Seven of Pentacles, and uh, if you are about to lose hope that you'll ever hear from this person, then the advice is for you not to lose hope. You will hear from this person again. Um, we've got the Eight of Wands, the card next to the King of Swords. The Eight of Wands is the uh, communication card. Uh, it's the fastest card in the deck. It could also symbolize travel by air. So perhaps you've been, if you've been waiting to get together with this person, you could be. They could be coming to see you or you them or you could be meeting somewhere. Um, the Page of Swords in this case is, I think, all about communication, just like the Eight of Wands. Page of Swords is a very direct communication. And if it is coming from the King of Swords, then yeah, that makes sense. This is a Page of Swords, a communication from the King of Swords, right? Um, but the main card here, I think, is the Sun. The Sun is actually the outcome. I specifically asked what the outcome is going to be, and the Sun came out, literally. <laughs> so yeah, the Sun is the happiest card in the deck. So don't lose hope. Continue waiting, um, and uh, the sun will shine. There will be communication coming, or there will be a meeting with this person. Right? So, yeah, happiness will prevail here. All right, Cancer. Uh, hopefully, it, it resonates. And um, other than that, have a great month. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.